What up everybody, 97 LEGO Maniac with a LEGO review of Ironhide. Yeah, so it's been a while. Sorry I ha I didn't um complete Ironhide earlier, it's just I was just lazy. So, um, you know, so here we have Ironhide in a vehicle mode. Sorry that it's not set up right, I, I actually tried transforming this into a robot to see if it works. It did, but when I transform it back to vehicle, it's actually pretty hard to, so you can see all this stuff and it's kind of falling apart. Well, well everything, it's okay. So, this is a version 2 of Ironhide and Dark of the Moon. What's the difference? A lot of stuff. Transformation is different. And also I, I included his Dark of the Moon gun that he had. Which is like a two guns that transform into one giant one, which you can separate, of course, and make two two guns, which is cool. So after since after um Ironhide, I'll I'll actually um go back to my other channel of Lego TF Asians um and. All the requests you guys send me, yeah, sorry that I didn't have time. It's just, I'm a sophomore and I don't have to do schoolwork. It's more important. And so, right after Ironhide, I'm gonna try to get to the, the request that you guys send me. I'll start with the oldest one. And for those of you who requested characters from Transformers Prime, just to, um... I'm sorry to tell you, but um, I have, I might have to do that later, like till after I'm done making Transformers from Dark of the Moon, because before when I made um, my second channel, I actually decided to make Transformers Prime after I'm done with the Michael Bay film Transformers. So that has to wait. I'm sorry, but it's just I have to finish the Dark of the Moon first, then I would do it, because I was actually going to make a whole collection without destroying them stuff. So, on to Ironhide, I guess. So here we have Ironhide in his GMC Top Kick mode. So as you can see here, there's a lot of stuff from this guy. The wheels, which I stole from the bat, from the tumbler and the bat pod from my Dark Knight review. And see here, you can actually see the tumbler, but there's a hole, so you might drop some stuff in there. So, so it's cool, cool transformer. Although the side could use a little bit of work, but it's okay. It's pretty hard to make this thing, but I, think I, well, I got it though. Rest in peace, Ironhide. So, in transformation, what we're gonna do, we're gonna separate this, just like that. As you can see here. And what we're gonna do, this has a hinge, so we're gonna, just gonna bend this back, or it's safe to just take it off. Because th these things are really annoying when it comes to like, transformations. So what we're going to do here. There. This top part here, we're going to separate this. And you can see his guns. But the cool thing about the guns, they're actually attached to his arms. In, some, in a hinge. So... So we're gonna take this out just like that. And we, and we flip this. Now let's get his arms out of the way you can see here. So what we're gonna do we're gonna, his there's his arms. I'm gonna grab this arm down here, fold it out, just like that. And we, and we can just leave it like that for now, just like that. And you do the same to the other side. And this is what you're gonna get. Now for the legs, what we're gonna do is take his feet and fold this whole assembly back. Just like that. And now what we're, and we're gonna, now we're gonna bring this around. And we're gonna start with the feet. We're gonna separate the feet here. Now the feet part is like really annoying because there's like a lot of stuff that just likes to fall apart. What we're gonna do is gonna rotate this this part of the leg 180 degrees 
and this part of the leg 180 degrees also. And for the wheel here, we're gonna like pop it out just a little, just like that. So we can fold this leg in. And now what we're gonna do for the toes, for this part here, I'm gonna rotate this around and fold his little toes up in there. And you do uh, everything for the other side. Now what we're gonna do, right here's his head, and it fell. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna this top bumper here. We're gonna take it off, just like that. Fold it out. For this part, we're gonna fold this out and rotate this in. Do the same to the other side. Fold it out, rotate it in. Now the the gray beam here, we're gonna fold in like that. And this little piece here, we're gonna fold that out. Is gonna tab into the black piece here, just like that. And we're gonna just fold the bumper out. Oh wait. For this part, we're gonna, gonna rotate this, pull this down until the bumper comes up. Just and we'll get to these later. Now what we're gonna do is gonna separate this top part here. And we're gonna fold this down, but before we do that, uh, we're gonna, for the wheels, we're gonna bring this whole assembly up and we're gonna fold this in and put it, position it in an angle, get the arms out of the way. Just like that. And do the same here to the other side. Position, according this up. Fold in. And my arm hurts from doing this. Just like that. So we can and we get this bumper and fold the bumper in just like that to give him make his chest. Fold this in. Then this back to make part of the chest. See here? So we have, so we get something like this. Now for the back of iron height, what we're gonna do? First, we're gonna extend out his arms, and extend it um, out. Oh yeah, actually move these things out of the way first. So that way you can use this for something cool. So we're gonna. Cons there's a hole here, so it's gonna tap here will be kind of hard just like that and now and then you just position the arm and rotate this part and what we're and for the gum part what we're gonna do rotate it like that bend it down and so you can tab it here and there you have the gun and then fold this in just leave it like that and you do the same to the other oh yeah this gun's different. You're you're supposed to like um fold these all these guys out. Then you can do that whatever to it. And you do the same to the other arm. What we're gonna do for this part, we're gonna rotate this like that. Rotate this part off and then fold this in so we get kind of have like a fake hub cap so we're gonna do the same to the other side rotate from here rotate from here and fold it down and there we have that part now let's fix his legs like that Snap this and pray to God that he might stay still, stand still. And if
if he doesn't then we fix the arms and now we're gonna work on the other part the back part so what we're gonna do So what we're going to do for the back part, you see, we see this tab here, we're going to tab this in, we're going to tab this back, and we fold, just fold this, just like that, and we just leave it. And we do the same for the other side. Tap this in. Fold this back. Till we get something like that. And we get his gun. And see the gold tab just tabs it right in the middle. Fix this part, hoping it won't fall off. And hopefully that he will stand properly. And there we have Ironhide in this robot mode. You can see his guns can transform. You don't need to like take it off. They are actually part of the transformation. Head sculpt's different. And transformation is always different. Oh, that's kind of crooked, but eh, who cares? And you can see here, you can see kind of a likeness, but he's a little kind of skinny from down there. But who cares? I don't, I don't mind. You can see his feet. The transformation is a little different. It has kind of had to do with uh, the leader class, but it's kind of but the leader class was just a little too complicated, so I just decided not to. And so, and for his gun, you can take it off and, pl and place it in each hand, but but um, they're actually each gun is like different, and it has to be it cannot you cannot use for either hand, which I'll show you. We'll take off his gun here. And it seems kind of unbalanced without it, I guess. Oh, there. Stay. You can see here. This gun is for the left. Whereas, I mean, for his right hand. Since the pegs here is only for the right. And this peg is kind of like the opposite here. Which works for the left. So you can have like two guns. You can combine it and place it back on his back. Which is really cool. And so that's pretty much it on Ironhide. Size comparison time. So here we have Ironhide next to Shockwave. Yeah, Ironhide is small, but he should have been a little smaller. Well, actually, no, nah, he's actually the right side because Optimus is about this big. He's a little smaller than Shockwave because he's a gigantic mutant one-eyed dude. Well, and Ironhide is a good size. Too bad that too bad he wasn't in the final battle in the third movie. Rest in peace, Ironhide. Well, so, yeah, that's pretty much it on the size comparison. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more um, LEGO reviews, which will, will not on my channel, because that, that might be a little too a long time for me, because I need to, yeah, make the ones that you guys suggested. So, the oldest one, the oldest message I got so far from for my new channel for the recommendation is a uh, war for cybertron i mean i mean fall of cybertron well, war for cybertron same thing grimlock so good game by the way it's like mm, fall of cybertron so good and played at my friend's house and and so i'll be making grimlocks and so subscribe oh yeah and if you want to see the difference between this iron high and my and my previous iron high my first one the link is down below, you can, so you can check it out and really see the big difference. So, see ya.